Hey guys, just me Nesto2 here with a requested video from a friend of mine. His YouTube name is um, Overlord Toy Reviews. And uh, I'm only doing this review for him. Any of you guys want to watch as well, you go ahead and comment. Okay, this is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Blackheart. I no longer have this figure in packaging, so what I'm going to do is show you a picture so you can get the idea. Alright, and here he is out of the package, ready to be reviewed. Let's take a look at him. And I'm going to give you the 360 right here while he's far back because he's so tall. Because if I could do him up close, all you see is probably like his knee, it's like his chest. Because this is an incredibly large figure for a Marvel Legend. He's about 7 inches, I believe, or more. We'll get into that during the height comparison. Okay. Adjust the camera, and we're ready. There is Blackheart here. He's awesome. I like him a lot. Super poseable, and look at all the detail he's got on him. Like, first of all, look at the face. The face is great. The likeness. A lot of people know him from, uh, you know, the Marvel vs. Capcom video games. Or if you're actually a true comic book fan, you'll know him. Look at all this. These are all rubbery pieces for his hair. Kind of like the dreadlocks from the Predators. The only ones that are stuck together are these right here and these down here but everything else is all individual it's crazy but yeah he's got plenty of paint detail he's got some black he's got some purple he's also got some uh, dark blue with some gray I mean, he looks like one color from far away from up close you can see everything look at his feet it's kinda like gargoyle like awesome you can see all of the uh, all the bumps and warts he has all over his body mostly on his chest his entire arm except for his elbow his thighs all the way down and on his tail as well look at that long long ass tail man it's crazy awesome but no one no one likes the black heart version from uh, the movie Ghost Rider that movie was horrible I hated that movie Nicolas Cage was not a good Ghost Rider black heart didn't even look like black heart until the very end and even then wasn't that great either his eyes were a nice red look at that it's awesome okay articulation wise all I can do you can rotate his head all the way around if you wanted can go his head can cannot go up because of his uh, the sculpting right here so that's as far as he's gonna go up it's not much at all basically he just looks straight but he can look down a lot look at that <laughs> shoulders are a pin socket so but they're also on the ratchet joint so he can click each time so you can go all the way around if you wanted but I'm not gonna do that because that's too many ratcheting also go out side to side, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and right here, wrist swivel, hinge at the hand, the whole hand right here, and hinge at the three fingers. So that's really nice. Look at those hands. It's awesome. Also has ab crunch, also with the ratchet, ratchety uh sound here wrist swivel wrist waist waist swivel and also pin and socket ball disc legs right here go out all the way and go forward about this far and that's pretty good upper thigh cut right there more some more warts and all that right here double jointed knees that's really good 
and at the bottom it gets a little unique right here he has a swivel for his uh, I guess you could say his ankle but not quite half half shin swivel then hinge right here for his foot you can go this far forward which looks pretty deformed and this far back but also has a uh, ankle pivot or rocker so you can go like this it looks like it's broken go side to side each so that's really good for posing that's really good and look at the feet it's really nice hinge at the toes right here all three together and for his tail it does not move right here but about like mid to the rest it's bendy so you can kind of pose it I mean not very well but it does you can see the holes right here for the for the air it's pretty cool but yeah this is an original sculpt this was made by Toy Biz and they never used this body again for any other figure not to my knowledge he's awesome I like him a lot the only thing I uh, don't like about this figure the only gripe I have is that he's not uh, bulky enough and you'll see what I mean when I bring in the other figures to compare him is because on the game Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom and even like some of the pictures I'm using for his tribute in the beginning of the video he's pretty big he's buff but this figure doesn't seem that buff so we'll get into his height his height is about seven inches or seven and a half I bring in other figures to compare him here is from Toy Biz Marvel Legends Ghost Rider and as you can see, uh, first off, two things. Ghost Rider is shorter, but also uh, right here, his joint doesn't go all the way in. So he's kind of leaning this way, which is pretty annoying. But yeah, you can see it here. Black card is a big figure. But yeah, I've always had problems with this Ghost Rider. It's really annoying. My uh, platform's kind of falling in, and there it goes. Let me fix it real quick. And here we go with the height comparison. We got Ghost Rider and Spawn from the McFarlane 10th anniversary. The one I use in my movies, of course. And you can see Black Card is bigger than both of them. It's awesome. But still, he just seems a little skinny. I mean, yeah, he's ripped and all, but like. Just look at him, he's kind of skinny. That's my only gripe, but it's not a huge deal. And here is from NECA, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy Krueger. You can see he's shorter than Blackheart as well. It's crazy. So yeah, if you ever wanted a Blackheart figure from Marvel, this is the only one to our knowledge. I'm not sure if Marvel Universe made him, but Hasbro has not made him in the Legends line yet. I like him. He's an original sculpt, really good paint detail, really good articulation, but he's just, you know, not buff enough. But overall, great figure. Awesome. So yeah. Also, if uh, you want to know who my friend is, Overlord Toy Reviews, I'll put a link down there so you can check him out. So yeah, this video was for him. And I hope you enjoyed it, man. Hope that makes you, helps your decision on buying them. All right. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And yeah, thanks for watching.